Hello everybody, Northern Hero here again, how are we all doing? You know last week I went to the cinema and I'm not going to go too much into detail about the film that I actually saw, you know pretty violent and that, but some of the times in the movie, you know my mind kept just drifting away like I mentioned it before, you know thinking about God and stuff, you know and a few visions of me preaching in front of a church, you know, in a church and preaching in front of the congregation. At the moment, um, I'm not sure if that was from God or what. I mean, I reckon it must have been. And it just shows you that God can pierce through any kind of thing what you're actually watching. I was watching a violent film. God were piercing through that film because God is light, obviously, and light pierces through any kind of darkness. I'm not saying that the film was full of darkness, you know. Um, well, it was a violent film, don't get me wrong. But, um, yeah, okay. See myself preaching in front, you know, in a church and that. Now, at the moment, I find that impossible because, you know, I'm scared of people and that and, and stuff, and I don't like standing up and, you know, being in the spotlight. Um, so, if the, if God wants, if that were really from God, then God has got to do a lot of things in me. And, that, and all things are possible. That's what I want to say. All things are possible. I'm not saying that's something that that is something that I'm going to do in life. But I just thought it was strange, you know, um, seeing that vision. Um, that's that story. Um, a few weeks ago. I had a few drinks too many, I think, and, you know, when I was talking to a few people when I had a few drinks, it was putting on this false, well not false, but I was saying stuff that I wouldn't, you know, normally say, and I wasn't wobbling or anything like that, but, um, Lately I've been thinking about it and a few scriptures have been coming to mind, you know, be sober and vigilant and, you know, I mean it does say in the Bible, you know, to, to be sober never let me see you drunkard, because when you're drunk that's when the enemy can come in, even Christians, you know, and when I got back home the room was spinning. I absolutely hate that feeling. I've heard people say, you know, non-Christians, oh, I really love it when the room's spinning, it's very good. It's like, waltzer. There's something rather different on being on a waltzer ride than room, then you get this spinning um, effect with the room. And I'm sorry, God, that I went overboard. Um, and I think maybe it was because, you know, mixed my drinks because um, I've drunk more than that before, but um, that scripture, be sober, be sober, and that seems really strong, that's been really strong actually in, in the last week or so, um, so from now on, I think I might just have maybe, uh, you know, I'm not really against alcohol, um, number one. I do not think that it should represent communion because Jesus was pure. Um, or some people might be really against me with that. Um, and you know, it's all right to have a drink now and again, as long as you don't go overboard. Um, and. 
you know, I think I might just have a few pints or whatever, but, and I think that's it. I'm not going to mix my drinks anymore. I might just come off it altogether. Um, because that night, I had one of the worst headaches ever. I felt as though my head was just splitting. I was really praying, I said, God, God, Jesus, 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 help me, help me. I really, my eye really felt as though it was splitting open. Um, and, you know, we've got to be careful sometimes because we can, God wants our paths to be straight and sometimes we can go off straight a little bit. But God always brings us back. God wants us to come back. And, um, yeah, thank you, God. I really felt the Holy Spirit just then. Thank you, Jesus. I don't know if that was for me or for somebody who's watching. Um, but, um... That was, I, I really felt something just then when I mentioned that. Um, 